There's not a lot of Malay or Indonesian restaurant in Singapore. A rare find now. It is very similar to home cooked food, quite tedious to make. So it's nice to have it in a setting that is comfortable and just convenient. Hi, I'm Mastura and this is my sister Maria and we are the third generation of Haja Mamina. We serve uh, Malay and Indonesian cuisine and some Singaporean dishes. We are different because we have different types of Malay dishes. Malay is quite big. The different types of dishes come from different places of the Malay Nusantara. Haja Maimuna started off from our grandmother, a well-known businesswoman at her time. She opened a lot of businesses and one of the businesses is the catering businesses. Basically, we serve Malay food which my mother was quite interested. Lah. From there, my grandmother bought a property to open the restaurant near Arab Street at Jalan Pisang. We start cooking at around 3 a.m. for food that are a bit tedious to make like our rendang, our oxtail soup. It takes a longer time to cook. Like, you know, like beef, we need to make it tender. So it will take around three hours to cook and we will deliver to both outlets at around 6 a.m. Both outlets will open around 7 to 8 a.m. The rest of the dishes we will cook at the restaurant itself. For ayam mira, right? We marinate, then we fry the chicken. Then we make the sauce, which is a tomato-based sauce. It's hard to find certain ingredients. So for example, like the pucuk manis, pucuk paku. If we don't have the suppliers coming in from Indonesia, then it's quite difficult for us to get these ingredients because it's not available in the market. Actually, it's well received by customers. Our customers understand that it's so difficult to get certain ingredients and time consuming to cook Malay food. Our biggest inspiration is our mom. So she's the one who influenced us to be in this business. Because she's a real foodie. She thought a lot about ingredients, about cooking and things like that. We have been involved in the family business since very young. And that is where we picked up certain uh, skills in the business. Uh, simple jobs like clearing the table, cashiering, cleaning, and then eventually serving the customers. The sambal goreng Jawa, that one is the most tedious because we need to cut the tofu and the tempeh into cubes. Then we fry it, then we make the sauce, top it with uh, long beans. We offer a variety of kuehs. We also have fried kuehs, poached kuehs, steamed kuehs. The younger customers don't really fancy traditional kuehs. So our target for kuih has never been for young kids because of the pride that I have in the company. I feel like I want to continue the business. It's so difficult now to have such a restaurant that has been running for so long. So I feel like such a waste if nobody takes over. So we started with a 50-seater cafe and now that same location has grown to a 200-seater restaurant. Now we have expanded to this restaurant at Juchan, which is a 250-seater restaurant. We are actually planning to open a second central kitchen, supply processed food to similar establishments. I cope with the pressure by reading and communicating with the family. I talk to my parents a lot on how they manage their stress, they have been doing this for almost 30 years. And we have seen like changes in consumer wants, consumer needs. We also debate on what we should do to continue. A lot of communication with the family really helps. Also talking to customers to know what they want. The one thing that my mom always tell me is for every problem that we have, there's always a solution. Never to give up, just stay focused and consistent and always look in the bigger picture. You always um, surround yourself with positive people and if you want to do it, just do it. Yeah, don't look back.